So question number one comes from at Garfi dot yield the cat. So Garfield the cat. <laughs> and his question or her question is, what's the most important thing a counselor must do? So I think for uh, there's two ways we talked that we're going to do high school and, and college counselors and guidance counselors. So <laughs> for a high school counselor, I feel like it's a lot more of your personality, your growing, your individual individualism. I can't say that word. Somebody help me. Individuality. Individuality? Jeez. What a day. <clears throat> so I feel like they're going to be there to support you through a lot of the things. I feel like the academic side of things, unless you're going to someplace that's a little more advanced than your run of the mill is uh, not taking the front seat, uh, or at least that was the case for me. I felt like I never had to go to my guidance counselor as a uh, high school student and say, like, hey, I'm not meeting these academic criteria. Everything seems pretty set in stone. You might have a few that are electives or kind of things that you can choose, but for a high school career, usually you have pretty much, hey, here's your curriculum, and then if you're in some of the advanced co courses for AP and whatnot. That's where you might need that extra help of how do these college credits transfer or how can I get into, you know, uh, one of my buddies was big into engineering when we were in high school, so he took engineering credits and it was electrical engineering. How can I transfer that into my college career? So I think they'll help you out there. Uh, but a lot of the time, your guidance counselor is there in case you have any emotional um, issues, not only at school, but at home, and you just need somebody to talk to that isn't your age. Um, obviously, if you want to talk to people that are your age, it's a lot easier, um, but it, sometimes it can be harder, too. So I feel like a guidance counselor is somebody you can just go to and trust. Uh, they're there for you. An uh, important thing to note is if you're not on good terms with whoever you're assigned as a guidance counselor, it's also just seek out a, a teacher or another guidance counselor to help you. They're, they're there to help uh, and they do care about you. On the college side of things, I feel like that's a lot more curriculum based. Uh, they're going to be with you the entire step of the way, making sure that you're hitting all your milestones. If there's any courses that get adjusted in the middle of it, uh, for example, I was going for web design when I was in my college career and all of a sudden ASP.NET didn't exist anymore. Uh, the course didn't, uh, it still existed as a, a coding. But uh, I had to figure out, okay, ASP.NET doesn't um, exist, so what can I take in that place, still get credits and still graduate on time. Uh, they're going to meet with you pretty much every semester and just make sure that you're on track. If you're not meeting with your counselor every semester, I suggest highly that you do. I think you should make time just to make sure that everything's going along according to plan. And again, you can transfer your counselor depending on how big your program is and who's in that program. I was not a huge fan of my guidance counselor when they told me I wasn't going to graduate on time. <laughs> and, uh, I ended up switching over to Frankie C, so thank you Frankie C. Uh, walked me through everything and uh, was the man. So I think those are, in my opinion, the two biggest differences between the two and what a guidance counselor should do. I don't know what you guys... I mean, I think it really, I think the most important thing a counselor can do is really dependent on the student that they're working with. And I do also want to mention too, there is this middle person, the college admission counselor, which is neither a guidance counselor um, nor a academic counselor per se. They're just there to guide you through the admission process of that particular school. So there is that other um, player in the counselor, um, under the counselor umbrella, if you will. Um, so they all play a very important role in your transition from high school to college and I think that again like it's so dependent on the student so like Tyler was saying it's, it's not as much an academic counseling per se it's it's more of a support system so no matter what it is that you're going through if it is an academic issue that you're having you can go to your counselor in high school for support and resources so it's not like they're going to sit there and tutor you but they would they can provide resources so you can find a tutor or you can get in the right classes if you're in classes that are you know above your pay grade if you will um, things like that um, but I think the most important time that these counselors really start to play a part is you know sophomore even well maybe sophomores a little early but junior senior year 
when you're starting the college search process, it's good you have... Forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> college Express. Yeah, so you, you have your, your high school, you know, guidance counselor um, guiding you through the steps, like knowing you as a person, having been with you throughout the years, they know, you know, your personality, they know what you're passionate about, they know your skills, um, and, you know, you can talk to them about, you know, this is what I want to major in because I want to do this someday and they can walk you through options and what that might look like for your college career what schools might be a good fit for you in terms of both what you're interested in and your GPA your academic performance everything else and then the college admission counselor can be a resource that are very specific to schools that you're interested in so I feel like again it's just so dependent on who you are as a person what you're looking for at what stage in the college search process or in high school or in college you're in, but all three of these types of counselors are super, super um, beneficial, valuable. I think also the way your high school is set up, like my high school, you didn't meet with your guidance counselor until junior year. Like they, mm. like you could reach out to them freshman, sophomore year, but they didn't reach out to you junior year. And as like a freshman, sophomore in high school, you're kind of like nervous about reaching out to them. You don't know if you can. So I never did. So I never talked to my guidance counselor till junior year when they reached out just to ask me how my college process was going and that's just the way my high school set it up so like that was the first time I had an interaction with a counselor at school so like they were never a part of my academic issues in school if I ever needed to like switch classes I always went to like teachers to figure out what classes to switch to Mm -hmm. and then I feel like when you go to college counselors are completely different to you it's more about the classes where I went to my counselor every semester to make sure I'm taking the right classes, help me pick my classes. So they're very different, they were to me. And I think that was based off how my school laid out the counselors. Yeah, definitely. Um, So I actually worked as a college admission counselor before I started working here. Um, So I've kind of seen it from that side too. Um, But that role also varies a lot based on the college. So um, especially at smaller colleges, you'll a lot of times like meet one-on-one with an admission counselor if you go visit. Um, but pretty much across the board, regardless of size of school, um, college admission counselors are out there like visiting high schools and coming to college fairs. So a lot of times um, the counselor in your high school has talked to a lot of admissions representatives. So that's something really helpful too, that you can be like, I am really interested in the school. I don't know if I can visit, but have you met with them? And a lot of times they've either been to the school themselves or um, the counselor from the college has come to your high school and visited too. Makes sense. Have you ever tried to persuade other counselors <laughs> to send kids to your school? Um, not really, but I feel like it was an important thing to like get to know the counselors and know what kind of students the high schools had, mm-hmm. because we could sometimes like see a more direct path between like students from this school do really well at our college and stuff mm-hmm. like that, which is cool. Yeah. And your guidance counselor will know that. Sure. I mean, I think going back to what's the most important thing a counselor can do, I think, you know, a high school counselor, the most important thing they could do is just checking in on the student, especially Mm -hmm. during that junior, senior period when they're going through college applications, trying to figure out scholarships and all that. Um, They may not be able to give them as much guidance as they want since there's so many kids that they're working with, but just being able to check in with the kid and maybe giving them like five minutes of your time to hand them something, some kind of resource so they know what they're doing. I think that's one of the most important things I wish I had because my guidance counselor, she was really nice, but I didn't find her helpful at all. She kind of just gave me like a big book of schools and was like, have fun. <laughs> I'm like, this is like 4,000 schools. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So I wish I had known that I could have switched counselors because yeah. there were a few other ones I heard were more be- were better about making appointments and getting mm-hmm. more personal with the students. Yeah. Did you guys ever take that college, car- it wasn't college, but career The aptitude test. And then that was given to me by the counselor like for after you take the test and you review with them yeah so I think that was kind of an interesting and almost a jumping stone to what college and what what career path I wanted to go down Um, so Mackenzie was saying you know you didn't meet with your counselor and tell her hey what college you want to go to here's 4,000 of them (laughs) Uh, with in high school we took that career test and then based off of that I think that became a talking point did you get a web developer no, I, I, got, I got something based in computers, okay, and then it's like, okay, and then we can kind of go down that rabbit hole and see what, what works and what doesn't work and what 
colleges offer programs and then based off of the campus and all those kind of things. So your counselor is definitely a resource you can go to. Also, collegeexpress.com. Uh, <laughs> you can jump on there and see a little bit more in depth on you know tuition and all those kinds of things. I'm sure your counselor can help you there too, but uh, they'll definitely kind of hold your hand, walk you through the process and, and help you out. I can't believe I didn't say that at the start. I <laughs> was completely blown away. But yeah, I think if you make more of a point to reach out to your counselor in high school, uh, you'll get more information from them, but a better response, maybe a better relationship. Cause it's probably so hard for them to reach out to all those students that they, it's like nothing personal. It's just how they are able to manage their time. So definitely like keep making appointments, <laughs> keep annoying them. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good thing to bring up is that you might not feel the necessity to go to a guidance counselor as in grammar school or high school whereas like I was saying it feels you know that's that's my thought is it's always kind of emotional support and if you need anything that's not really in the academic realm but yeah make it a point to go and see your counselor and just get that on your radar a lot earlier it's uh, interesting that you saw them as like an emotional support like I guess that's like like when you see it in movies, I feel like that's what counselors are. So they're like, you know, I think they it's one of the many kids, hats like, that they wear. I yeah. think yeah. I think they just have so many things that they are helping out with. But I think if we had to sum it up in a couple of words, it would be the most important thing a counselor can do is offer support, you know, provide resources, and just be there for the student in whatever way they need them to be.